Hi, my name is Thorsten Schmidt and in this video I want to give you a short introduction about the modem bubble system. So, first of all, what is the modem bubble system? The modem bubble system. I've invented the modem bubble system maybe four or five years ago. The reason was that because our own cable network was getting larger and larger, we've uh, grown over area with about uh, 30 kilometers of uh, radius and the problem was that we didn't really know what was going on in real time. So if there were problems in some cluster or not, we first we need to jump to the command line, for example, we go to, to the cable modem termination system and we check whether are the cable modems running perfectly or not. The next step that we did was, of course, we have some kind of monitoring, but the monitoring always is some kind of a way back so that you uh, didn't get a real-time response from your network. So what we did next was that we've invented some kind of command line tools to easy uh, search over, let's say, a street and to get response from the cable modems in the street and see, for example, the upstream power on, on the average. And the next logical consequence was that when we are trying to put things together into one system, we were trying to find a graphical uh, way to say, okay, in this cluster or in this area, the modems are responding well. And the solution and the idea was the modem bubble. And let me explain it. Um, I have still made a video about the HFC module. So in the HFC module, we've got entity relation diagrams. And the entity relation diagrams, for example, look like this. So here we have a cluster, and then here we've got a network element, for example, an amplifier or a node. And here we've got an amplifier, and under each amplifier or node we can have modem bubbles. So for example, let's say here we have a modem bubble, and inside the modem bubble there are some numbers. I will explain them later. And if the modem bubble is green, for example, the modem bubble represents, for example, 100 modems. And this is a real-time bubble. So if the bubble is green, then the cluster is running perfectly. And if the bubble gets yellow, then there could be some problem or we should interact into the cluster. And if the bubble is red, then it means there must be a big problem. So we should take a look to this. So in our company, the first thing that our support people do when they get to the desktop in the, in the morning, they look through the overview picture or they jump through some sites and see if every bubble or if every amplifier, for example, is green. And if so, they can say, okay, the network is running or is at least running at a 95 percentage ratio. So is most likely be running perfect and that's a cool feedback for a cable operator to see okay it must be working and if a customer calls you you, you notice okay must be a special problem only by the customer or by a smaller street and it's no problem in your network itself so that was the reason why i invented it some years ago and it's one of our strongest tools that we are using to detect real-time problems, so the, the modem bubbles are scheduled every um, five minutes about. Um, it's, it's not done like now I have monitor and then five minutes again, so it's some kind of constant process so that every modems are paused uh, on a, on a round-robin base and that <coughs> we've used these informations to create average values and now I want to show you this on a concrete example on my laptop. So this is a network element, so it's an, an uh, intelligent amplifier and the 51 means that there are 51 total cable modems behind this managed amplifiers. From these 51 cable modems there are actually 45 online and one of them is critical, which means has a high upstream power value. And the 39 means the average upstream power. So in the next step, I want to show you a short introduction where I want to 
give you a short introduction how it is in production. So for example, this is the network of Marienberg. And now you can see that if many bubbles are green, this is a cool sign for us that our network is working perfectly. So of course you see that there are bubbles yellow and this could be because there are not enough modems online or it could be because the average is uh, a little bit high or low. So, but if everything is green, that's cool. And the modems can get yellow or red if the upstream power is, the average upstream power is too high or if the numbers of cable modems which are online in this cluster are critical. So, okay, now let's jump into a smaller cluster, for example, this one. And here we see also that the modems are working correctly. And now we can jump into topography mode and see our cluster directly. And of course we can jump inside the modem bubble to see how the modems are working. And if you click inside a modem, I cannot do it because I'm on a production system, then of course you will directly jump to the modem into in the contract page. So these are official modems, so I don't want to show you now. So one word about the black lines you see here, this is our network infrastructure in this cluster. And NMS Prime has the ability to upload KHML files to your system or KMZ. And these will be directly loaded if you click to the topography or if you just select some kind of modem. So for example, if I jump inside this area, now I see how the cable are terminated to our customer. So thanks for watching. That was a short introduction about the modem bubble system. In the next video, I want to show you how you can create your own modem bubbles. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. We will see you in the next video.